Hi friends, thanks for joining me for Sunday School. I hope that you are having a great day. Hey, speaking of days, when's your birthday? My birthday is October 10th. Well, I'm talking about birthdays because this is the day that we celebrate the birthday of the church. Did you know we do that? Yeah, we celebrate the birthday of the church. And if you go to church on Pentecost, that's the day that we call it, Oh, we have a big old cake and we eat cake and celebrate the church's birthday. Isn't that fun? Well, today we're going to celebrate Pentecost. And that is the word I was telling you about, the birthday of the church. So long ago, way back long ago, just after Jesus had gone back up to heaven, his friends, the disciples, they were all gathered in a room and they were actually celebrating the festival of Pentecost when something strange happened. In the room, a gust full of wind blew in. And then they looked around and they saw something even stranger. Each one of them had a flame hovering over their head, but it wasn't hot. They weren't getting burnt. And then the most mysterious part of all happened. They all realized that they could speak any language from around the whole world. So now there is nothing to stop them from um, telling everybody around the world about God's great big love. That right there was the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit had come into their bodies to help them share God's love with others. Well, I want to read you this special book that I just got. It's called The Day When God Made the Church. It's all about Pentecost. Let's read it. The Day When God Made the Church. Rebecca McLeod Hutto is the author and illustrated by Stephanie Haig. We all gathered in wait. Jesus is gone and we are nervous. Everyone is curious to meet the one that Jesus would send. The room is dark. Men, women, old people, young people, and animals wait. Wait for something to happen. Suddenly, the animals move with excitement. What's that noise? It grows louder. It feels like wind and pounds like drum beats. It fills the room loud and full. Then the room grows brighter. Something hot and blazing shines on us. Darkness is gone. Fire fills the cold space. Now we feel warm inside our bodies. Smiles paint our faces. We all know something new is happening. We feel our hearts change inside. Is this what Jesus promised? The sound, a new sound comes. Words, words like raindrops fall across the room. Some with loud sounds and some with quiet whispers. Words like drum beats, words that tiptoe through the air. People crowd around. They hear the words. They recognize the languages. Something new is happening. The Holy Spirit has arrived. Everyone around me begins to ask questions. Who is this Holy Spirit? What is happening? Why do we feel so different? Why do we hear so many languages? Peter stands. He walks around looking at each of us. I wonder, is he going to speak? Then Peter opens his mouth and he starts to preach. His powerful voice fills the spaces around us and between us. Friends, something new is happening. Jesus has given us a wonderful gift. Don't be surprised if you all start to preach and dream on it. 
young and old, men and women, we are all called to do something new. God is changing so we can see old things in a new way. We all listen as Peter tells the story of God's love in Jesus. He reminds us, he reminds us all what Jesus taught us. We hear again how Jesus loves us. We remember when Jesus healed our friends and told, our, told us stories and shared good news. We listen as Peter describes the day, that horrible day, when Jesus was on the cross and we remember how sad we were. The dark clouds covered the sky, the earth shook, and Jesus died to save us. But our sadness will not last for it did not last forever. Peter reminds us that soon there was laughter and joy and dancing. Jesus came back to us. God raised him from the dead and gave us new life. We all hear the word Peter the word Peter preaches and the Holy Spirit changes us. The rivers of baptism pour out and we feel God's love. A love for us, our families, our friends, and even people who are far away. People, people everywhere all hear this good news. We all begin this new life together. We, became, we become a new family, we share our things, we break our bread together, we worship God. This is what we call the day of Pentecost, the day when church was born. Men and women, boys and girls, people from everywhere, we are all filled with the Holy Spirit as we worship Jesus, alive and risen. Alleluia. that in. So today, I hope that you take time to think about the church, pray for the church, and pray to God about how you can be changed to how you can teach others and be filled with the Holy Spirit. I know you can do it. Hey, would you like to check out a video from Otto and his World Kid friends? Otto has something new. Let's see what he's up to. Last week, Pastor Pete said Pentecost was like the church's birthday. So I decided to get the church some smart-looking curtains. You know, spruce the place up. Oh, my goodness. He did say that. So he meant that it was First Second Church's birthday? Uh, yeah, something like that. Well, I don't want to show up empty-handed. No, you do not. Not on the church's birthday. Buildings hold grudges like nobody's business. I got in a feud with my garage once, and I still don't go in there. But... Where can I get a gift at this hour? On a Sunday? Relax, Clara. We'll just pop down to Megaware Hardware and pick up some bathroom tiles. Or a fresh can of paint. Oh, thank you, Otto. You're the best. You could get a rake, or you could get a hose, you could get a thermal electric water heater. I don't want to get the church just anything. I want it to be special. You could buy some door frames, or some carpet, or a set of titanium squirrel-resistant roof gutters. Hey, didn't Pastor Pete say there would be divided tongues of fire attending the party? I think he said those words, yes. I could get a fire extinguisher. You know, in case they get too rowdy. 
good thinking. You can't trust fire tongues at parties. Where's the party taking place, Otto? I don't know. I figured we'd hear it. I expected something like a carnival mixed with a fair. Mixed with a mixer. Well, I don't hear anything. Hey, Victor, where's the birthday party for First Second Church being held? Birthday party? What in the world are you talking about? Because of Pentecost, Claire and I went to Megaware and got some small home improvement items for the church. Because it's the building's birthday! Um, the building wasn't founded today. It was built in April of 1913, as you can clearly see in the cornerstone right over there. Then, what was Pastor Pete talking about? He meant that Pentecost was the birth of the church itself. Right! The birth of the church we're standing outside of! No, 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 no. Not the church building. The church is a community of Christians around the world. Pentecost was the beginning of the church because it's the day the Holy Spirit came among the disciples. Are you with me? Oh, yeah! And that was right before the disciples went out into the world telling everyone the good news about Jesus. So the church didn't start with a building. It started with the Holy Spirit. So there's no birthday party. Not for the building. No. Oh. Oh. Lucky we saved our receipts. At the very least, we'll get store credit. Have you considered purchasing trick and trap supplies? They're having a special on some of my favorite items. I have a craft for us. Would you like to do a craft with me? So I just took a piece of paper and I cut it in half. In fact, you can even cut it in half again if you want. It doesn't really matter the size. So then I took a pencil and I drew a straight line about, I don't know, a little before halfway. Do you see that? And then I have some dotted lines here and I can make some dotted lines on the other side like that. So it's a whole dotted line across. And then I have a straight line here, and then dots, straight line here, and then dots. It doesn't have to be exact. Then, you would cut the top part right here. Good enough. And then the only other part I cut is right here, and the other side right here. So I only have three cuts. The two tops right here, and then the two sides right here. So then I'm gonna fold one backwards and one forwards, just like that. So they're like that. Then I'm going to just fold this back and this back. So then it looks like, kind of like a T. Do you see that? And then I'm just gonna fold this bottom part up. You can fold it once or twice, doesn't matter. And then I thought to remind us about Pentecost that I might draw some flames on mine to remember the funny flames that were on their heads. Okay, drew some flames. So then it's kind of fun. Now the wind part, remember how they heard the wind and they could feel it going through the room? And then we have our flames of fire. Let's see if you can see this. Then I'm gonna spin it as I drop it. Did you see that? Isn't that fun? They're just fun little craft things that you can play with today. And then you can remember Pentecost and you can remember that this is when the church was started because everybody could speak each other's languages. There is nothing stopping them from sharing God's great big love. And we know we can thank God, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus for this love that we can share. Well, my friends, thank you for joining me on such a special day. I hope you have a good one. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.